Endgame is kind of like Path of Exile where you're basically mapping. So if you look here, these are kind of like different regions. Each region actually gives you an endgame bonus. If you actually go ahead and go over here and look at your blessing, you actually gain permanent scaling. So the permanent scaling has an incentive so that you kind of want to keep on doing it. After you do it a bunch of times and you do the last three ones, you can empower them. Empowering them makes everything stronger. So kind of like red maps and PoE, but a little bit past that. At the end of each timeline, so basically when you're running it a whole bunch, um, you actually build up stability. When you have enough stability, you summon a quest echo. When you summon the quest echo, you get to fight the boss. Each boss of each timeline has different drops, so you can keep farming and target farming to pretty much make new builds. Furthermore, when you're doing this stuff, you actually get the best gear you can possibly get. So if you notice there's purple affix gear, purple affix gear typically drops in these types of content. Empowered monoliths will get you higher stuff. The reason you want the purple affix is because it has the highest along with the highest forging potential, so you can craft the best stuff. Essentially, there's also uh, dungeons. The dungeon system also goes uh, pretty much past the monolith system. So this is the end game, the monolith system. The dungeon system goes past this and is intertwined with certain mechanics. So basically, you have the end game system, which is the dungeons, and the end game system, which is currently the timeless stuff. That's pretty much everything.